Hello, Crafty friends. Welcome back and happy Mother's Day weekend to all of you. Today I'm going to be playing with a gorgeous 3D embossing folder from Spellbinders. It's called Scattered Tropics and it has beautiful palm leaves and flowers all over it. And I'm going to do a really fun technique. So I have a piece of very dark green cardstock. This one is called Forest. And first thing I'm going to do is wipe it down with a baby wipe on both sides. This will prevent it from cracking when I run it through my Platinum 6. It's such a detailed folder that it's nice to wet down your paper so that it can kind of conform and mold to the folder. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap at the bottom. This is where I'm going to be putting my sentiment. Usually people use their 3D embossing folders or their regular embossing folders for backgrounds for their other products. Here's a close-up look at the embossed panel. Isn't that just gorgeous? But for today's video, this is going to be the star of the show, the embossing. I'm pulling some old Spellbinders products from my stash. So for the sentiment, I'm going to use this one called Hello Summer. This is from an older Fun Stampers Journey and Spellbinders red rubber stamp set that came out several years ago called Make a Splash. I've used this in a recent video as well. I love this little set. I forgot I had to pull out my mouse pad from my Mini Misty because when you're using the red rubber stamps, they're a little bit thicker, so you don't need that extra pad in there. I'm going to put some anti static powder down because I am going to emboss this with some white embossing powder. Since this is such dark cardstock that I'm using, I don't want to have any stray white bits of embossing powder on this. I'll stamp it up a few times, and then I can pull it out of the Mini Misty and pour over the white embossing powder. I have a piece of type paper here to catch the embossing powder. And then I can just funnel the powder back into the little bottle. But I didn't stamp it out very well. The top of the S is missing, but I'm going to carry on and I'll show you how I'm going to fix that in just a minute. I allowed my heat tool to warm up. Now I can melt the powder. And you can see that the sentiment is not complete yet. I use a tissue to wipe off the anti static powder off of the panel. And then I'm going to pull in my white gel pan. I like this Uniball one. I believe it's called Uniball Signo. And I have to get up close to the paper. I'm very nearsighted. So I want to just go over the S with this white gel pan and a little bit of the H. I'm going to make that extend up a little bit higher. You can't even tell that it's white gel pen instead of the embossing. So it worked out really well. Here are some more older die sets from Spellbinders that I'm using some of the dies from, like the, the palm leaf there. And then I have a couple of other sets that I found some palm leaves that I'm going to be using around the sentiment. If you subscribe to the small die of the month or the large die of the month, they have you covered for the tropical greenery, but I don't have those two uh, clubs yet. So I'm just trying to fish some things out of my stash to use, but I definitely wanted it to mimic the pattern on the green cardstock. To protect my sentiment, I'm going to cover it with some mint tape. And then I have a couple of Distress Oxide inks that I'm going to use next. I'll rub the pad right across the panel. This is Bundled Sage. And since the cardstock is so dark, this Bundled Sage makes the palm leaves really stand out and look beautiful. To add more interest and more accent on these palm leaves, I'm using some orangey ink. This is called Crackling Campfire. And I'm just using the tip of it to rub down the centers of the palm leaves. This adds such a beautiful touch to this card. I love the orange. And it's pretty easy to do. Like I said, I'm just using the corner of the pad to do this. I don't want to cover up the bundled sage completely. And 
And I do end up cutting this panel down so that it is five and a half by four, so that it's a little bit smaller than an A2 sized card, so that I can put some terracotta paper behind it. I pulled out my Spellbinders paper trimmer to do this. And I think I need a new blade. It didn't cut very well through this embossed panel. I'll just use my long sharp scissors to finish off the job. And now I'll cut off the top of the panel to five and a quarter. This time it cut pretty good. I cut off a lot of the orange bits. So I'm going to bring the crackling campfire back in and add a little more orange to this panel. I just love the green and the orange together. You'll definitely want to use your lighter color first, for instance, the sage green, and then put the darker color on so that you don't get some orange ink on your light green pad of ink. I'm going to attach this terracotta orange panel onto my card base, and this just matches perfectly with the crackling campfire ink. My white card base was just a little bit too long, so I'm going to use my scissors again just to trim off that white sliver at the bottom of the card. Sorry, I'm off camera here. And then I can just throw that little sliver away, but now it fits the orange card perfectly, or the orange paper. I'll attach the embossed panel next and center this in the middle of the orange cardstock. Now I can build a little bouquet with these tropical leaves. And I cut them out using several different colors of Spellbinders cardstock. I have forest, peridot, and fern green, and a little more of the terracotta for the smallest leaf. That was a layering die set that I used. Some of those stamp and die sets are from card kits past, and they're very, very old. I don't think they're in stock anymore. But again, they have you covered really nicely with some beautiful palm leaves and tropical leaves in the large die of the month club kit and the small die of the month club kit. Once I had my arrangement set, I'm going to glue them down just at the bottom left corner. And then I also found a little flower that matched pretty well with the flower that was embossed into the paper. And so I'm going to be adding some pops of orange with some small floral die cuts. But let's glue this last palm leaf in place, just kind of over the sentiment. And then for a bit of fun and sparkle, I'm going to pull out a clear glitter pen. There's a lot of different pens like this available. This one is the Nouveau Clear Gloss Pen. I also like Wink of Stella or the Spectrum Noir glitter pens, but I'm just going to go over this one dark green palm leaf. And now I can start gluing on these small orange flowers, just right over the embossed flowers. And this just adds a beautiful touch. I'll put these in place and then I'm going to add a little bit of glue behind them. And I do add one more orange flower kind of up at the top left. Just looked kind of empty there. I don't often give away my old Spellbinders die cuts because they make the most beautiful floral dies. And I go back to them quite often. If these older die sets that I'm using are still available, I will put them in the links down below so that you can check them out if you're interested in any of these. I really love making summer cards. This one was pretty fast and easy to put together. What took the most time was doing all of the die cutting. And this is where I'm going to put one where there isn't a flower embossed up at the top. It just kind of needed it there. And I do end up putting one in front of the palm leaves at the bottom left. For the centers, I'm using some crystal clear gems. These look white. These are the more opaque ones. But I'll put one of the same size gem in the center of each flower. 
And that's all I'm doing to this card. There are a lot of steps to it, but it was pretty fast to put together. Here is a close-up look. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. Take some time to card craft if you want to. My family took me out to breakfast this morning. It was a lot of fun getting out. Usually we sleep in on Saturday mornings or we're outside mowing the lawn or doing some kind of yard work or indoor projects. But happy Mother's Day, and I'll be back again really soon with another video. Take care. Bye.